Okay, so let's talk about some some various features that we have um, from the platform side of things. So um, one feature we released in 238 is what we call automatic flush of the analytics API cache. So previously you had to set the expiration, meaning that you had to set it to you know something like six o'clock in the morning uh, the next day. Um, or to a certain number of hours, like you know, for six hours or twelve hours or twenty-four hours. Now the um, analytics API cache will be automatically flushed when the analytics tables are being updated. So that means the um, the, the cache will be in sync with the underlying tables. Every time you run this analytics tables, then um, it will also flush the cache. So this is nice because now it means you won't get um, stale data to the same degree as you did before. Um, you can keep them perfectly in sync. One feature which is uh, highly requested, but for now is only API only, we, we will add it to the UI soon, um, is the ability to cancel jobs running. So uh, in particular, the analytics table update job um, sometimes can run for very long. And so there, until 238, there wasn't a way to, to basically cancel those jobs um, before they completed. So now this is added in the API. Um, so it will soon add it to the user interface as well. We added input identifier schemes for data value set. What this means in practice is that you can now use um, codes like metadata codes for things like the elements and organets, and then import uh, through the normal data value sets API. Um, and that is sometimes handy when, for integration purposes when you want to integrate um, and receive data from third party systems, which don't necessarily use the, the uh, UIDs of, of DHS2. The uh, ADX uh, format, aggregate data exchange format, which we support in DHS2 is now available in the input export app. So you can use the, you can use the UI now to import those files. Um, another thing which is API only for now is the ability to have metadata workflows. So this we will also create a new UI for soon, uh, but for now it's available in the API. So this is a way to, to basically set up workflows around metadata changes. So it allows you to propose, um, accept, oppose, adjust and reject um, um, so changes to metadata. So those would be the steps in, in the workflow. Um, and this is very useful for metadata such as organets uh, and use cases like facility registry, MFL and so on, where you need to have this kind of distributed workflow or process for maintaining and updating and making changes to the, um, to the list of organets say. Uh, so for example, if you have many different stakeholders or many different systems that would like to propose um, changes to the facility list, then we can now do this in a programmatic way through the API, um, as opposed to doing it in an out of band mechanism like like email or or something else. So more about this later. It's it's coming um, more. Uh, they're coming a UI for this soon, and there will be more more documentation and, and guidance.